a sailor. You're my first mate. We signed on together. We coupled our fate. Hold up our anchor, determined not to fail. For the heart's treasure, together we set sail. With no maps to guide us, we steered our own course. Rode out the storms from the wind. Were gale force. Sat out the doldrums in patience and hope. Working together, we learned how to cope. My name is Rosaline Walsh. I was asked by uh, the Belfast Graves Association uh, to. Uh, write four short dramas for them, the purpose of which was to be accompanied by four uh, lectures that they were planning. It's a new project from the Graves Association and it's to make people, young people especially, more aware of the sacrifices that uh, those people who died for Ireland and who lived for Ireland and who gave up so much for Ireland uh, it's all about their sacrifices. So I tried to get an angle uh, to write about them. I did a lot of research and just like any play or any character you're writing about, uh, you discover that the, the bottom line is we're all human and we all have uh, a humanity about us. Uh, every single person in the world uh, reacts to the set of circumstances that their life from birth has been placed in. We don't just react, but you know, through life when we develop our moral conscience and we develop in different ways politically and socially, these people were all placed uh, in a situation where their country had been taken over, where their people uh, had been so badly treated for 800 years by uh, their neighbouring country, England. They were treated uh, in a terrible way. These people all reacted and came to the only conclusion that for a better life for the Irish people, it had to be without uh, the oppression and the interference of England. There was just me. One of the brains to feed. I'm not a greedy man. The children, all eight of them, how are they doing? Still attending school? Who sick me to go to school daily? They managed a day or two a week, but the youngest was really sick. We just can't get her to eat. The other families in the tenement are keeping their ones well away from our room in case they catch something. There's only the one closet between 70. Warm, so far, far away. I'll tell you the story that happened one day. Our hearts to be fixed and just to get them reaction. As only a woman's heart can be. As only a woman's. As only a woman. With the helplessness. Only a woman's heart can know. The tears that drip. From my bewildered. This play, Countess Markovic, uh, I didn't know a lot about her. She was uh, one of my heroines, but in saying that, that was because uh, I knew about her role in the 1916 leadership. But researching her, I discovered there was so much more to her. She was a very wealthy person. The one wonderful asset that she had was that she was a kind person. And from she read about and was introduced to the, the cause of Irish freedom, she became socially aware of uh, how the Irish people were being treated. She, on one occasion, actually came from a ball with her ball gown, uh, her tiara, her jewels, and placed them all on a table. 
uh, so food could be bought for the workers who uh, were in the, involved in the Dublin lockout. She was a very deep person and uh, it was a pleasure to, to write about her. I chose to write about her and have WB Yeats tell her story. WB Yeats, you know, as many people have said to me, he's not a popular person. Personally, I love his poetry, but that's besides the point. But I thought it would be interesting to tell her story, to have him move from one scene to the other. Uh, because he wasn't a popular person, you know, all sorts of people make up Irish uh, history and he did play a part in Irish history. He knew her very well. My heart is low. Yes, my heart, my heart is so low. low. As only a woman's heart can be. technical stuff I would like to thank Bill Tierney and also Damien McGarry who's been a wonderful help with Bill and also with the actors. Also the, the screws, we have the good screw and the bad screw and uh, the bad screw of course represents those who did get pensions from Britain and uh, the good screw acknowledged the, the kindness that Markovic had did for her family during the lockout. Uh, I can only say it's been a pleasure to do this for the National Graves and uh, the after effects that maybe some people will become more interested in what went before us. Uh, I was very fortunate in that uh, Loretta was sort of the right hand person who, you know, everything was left in Loretta's hands and that was wonderful. I also was very lucky to have uh, Maureen McPartland as the seamstress Maureen worked tirelessly getting the costumes right and the hers right and everything of the, the time right. And also I had a wonderful uh, bank of actors, uh, Anne McGreevy, Jack, Alison, Owen, Conal, uh, Kat, Robert and Mary and of course Annie Cackle who uh, Ami was more like a choreographer for his learning the, the uh, actors hard to dance and hard to move. But we had a wonderful, uh, a wonderful lot of people to help us and uh, it has been my, my privilege to, to do this for the National Greens. Each drama is here in the Films Club Sunday night, that's March the 6th at 7.30 and we'd love to see as many faces as possible and also it is uh, Women's International Day next week so from a, a woman's perspective uh, it's, 
it's nice to see how other women have uh, handled history. Oh 